All right, guys, let's watch a clip from this movie and come back and talk about it. How did they know I was pregnant? No, wait, I... Why? How could you do this to me? What? Why are you doing this? Hey. You're doing this for us, okay? No. You're not doing this for me. You're doing this for yourself. Oh. Oh, now I see. So this is your plan all along, huh? This is your plan to get me pregnant so I have no other choice than to accept your proposal. And you even went behind me to tell my parents. Not even fully what their take on this. Well, my father says you can bring your people over. I have tolerated you all these years. But at some point you're going to have to stop this because your family needs you. Family? What? Family. Huh? I never wanted a family. You did! You cannot continue like this. The girls, they need your mother. Every man must carry their cross. Jesus had it. I have mine. This is yours. Carry it. The circumstances surrounding the situation between your mom and I is it's quite slippery and we need to be careful. I Maybe we haven't handled things properly, but I, I'm looking at alternative strategies. Or maybe you married the wrong woman and you should own your mistake, Dad. Belemate Kenato Kumbo, you will show me some respect as I am your father. Show you respect? Do you even know how it feels to have a mother like ours? Alright, so the storyline with this one is kind of slippery. I've said this time and time again, but let me just finish on this. Um, he wanted her. She didn't want it. He got her pregnant. Now, he went and told her parents in that way, she cannot back out or remove the pregnancy or whatnot. So now, they decided to go ahead and marry, except that she didn't want the marriage. So, years down the line, she's still resentful for him luring her into the marriage. So this goes to show what I say about, you know, being in a relationship with who wants to be in a relationship with you. You know, don't force things that are not meant to be. You know, like you can see in this particular movie, she didn't want to marry him. The pressure he put on him was to get her pregnant and then tell the parents and of course now she came back out. But the truth is that she didn't really want to marry him. Now in marriage, if you're thinking that getting into marriage will change somebody, it doesn't. If they don't like you, they still wouldn't like you. They would, might tolerate you, but they wouldn't like you. And it's going to be showing in everything that you guys are doing. You see how she was talking about the cross, you know, I'm carrying my cross. Her own cross is the fact that she's even in the marriage. Now, he should carry his own cross, which I guess is about every other thing about that whole family. You know, this is not funny because now they are married and this thing is still happening. The key thing to get from this particular movie is the fact that you shouldn't pressure somebody into marrying. And don't also get into a marriage based on pity. Because down the line, that pity is going to dwindle away and then the real person will come out that real person that doesn't like you that real person that doesn't care you know all that would start manifesting and you don't even want to be in a situation like that if you meet somebody and you waste your whole life and i'm gonna say this for guys you know because sometimes they'll meet a girl and then you know they'll take like months and months on end you know pursuing her she's already telling you she doesn't want she doesn't like you and you're busy pursuing her and the next thing is you throw that hooker i want to marry you you know of course you know it always comes like as if uh, it's a lifesaver statement but the truth is that this person doesn't like you so why are you not jumping all the guns and you know you know you, you don't want to marry her marry her for what she doesn't want you as if for even relationship so why are you jumping to marriage and let's just say now she agrees, oh, okay, she doesn't want to miss this opportunity. Uh, there might not be another opportunity in years. And then she marries you. 
do you think that that would not make her a better person? No. Or that she would now start loving you? No. Guys, don't be jumping all these hoops and then, you know, land on the marriage phase like it's a, it's a problem solver. You know, it's not. But the problem will still be out there lingering. If they, if they don't like you, they're still not going to like you. You know, they might start making little concessions here and there. But even after a while, all those concessions that they're making, they're going to get tired of it. And no matter what, they will still change and now turn into what they were before. Lesson to be learned here is love who loves you. Be in a relationship with somebody that wants to be in a relationship with you. You know, if you're about to marry somebody and she's not excited about being your wife, then maybe she doesn't want to marry you. You got to get these clues. Get these things ahead of time. It's not cheap to marry somebody. And if you end up doing and they're they not into the marriage, who is even deceiving who? Eh? So guys, you know, stay focused. You know, ladies, this also applies to you too. Everybody has a spec, you know, but the whole point of a happy life is find somebody that's compatible, not somebody that's your spec. Your spec could be full of BS, you know, in every other aspect, except for probably the physical. Because, you know, when people are calling people spec, half the time it's just what they're seeing. They don't know anything outside, you know, the, you know, the physical. So focus on the more important things when you're looking for a partner. If there's somebody that really loves you, it's definitely a good idea for you to see if you actually love that person too, instead of focusing on somebody else that doesn't give a, you know, a hoot at this point about you. And even if you lure them to giving a damn, it's not going to be a genuine one. So focus, 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 love who loves you. And that's the final word. If you guys love this content, please subscribe, follow, share, and like. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios. And again, I'm here to deliver sense.